students from the Murray School, Woodgrove, and St. Stephen's and St. Agnes meet today on It's Academic! Hello everyone, I'm Hilary Howard. So glad you're joining us on this Saturday on It's Academic, now in its 60th season and brought to you as it has been for more than 50 years by Giant Food. Time to meet the teams and we begin with the Murray School from Washington, D.C. Hi, my name is Akai. I'm a senior at the Murray School. I enjoy reading and I'd like to give a quick shout out to our two alternates, Noah and Azmira. Hi, my name is Ashan. I'm a 17-year-old junior and I'd like to give a shout out to our head of school, Ms. Talbot, who was able to make it out today. Hi, I'm Riley. I'm a junior at the Murray School, and I'd like to thank our coaches, Doc White and Ms. Forsyth. Wonderful. Guys, in this round, as you know, questions are worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer, so no pressure there. Here's the first question. Rather me than Ed. It would be you, not someone else, who has a chance to find hidden here the name of what gas whose formula is CH4. Inferring. Um, Me methane. Methane, yeah. Yeah. Final answer, methane. Methane it is, nice. As he sins. You'll commit no sins if you rearrange these letters to name what German mercenaries who fought for England during the American Revolution? Conferring. Hessians. Yeah, that sounds right. Final answer, Hessians. Yes, it is the Hessians. The road to tyranny begins with the destruction of. To complete these words from President Bill Clinton, Add what word, meaning veracity, that goes marching on in the battle hymn of the Republic? Conferring? Any ideas? No. I'm answer? Sure. In uh, three? Uh, dictator, final answer. No, truth is the answer. Sodium, vanadium, yttrium. Combine the chemicals for these elements and you'll name what branch of the armed services that once had its own cabinet? Conferring Navy, right? Navy. Final answer, Navy. Yeah, it's Navy. Appearances are often deceiving. This is the moral from the story of the wolf in sheep's clothing, one of the fables of what ancient Greek slave? Conferring. Um, Aesop. Aesop. Uh, final answer, Aesop. Yes, it is, Aesop. Very well done, Murray. 180 points. Time to meet Woodgrove High School from Purcellville, Virginia. Uh, I'm Nick. I'm a senior at Woodgrove High School. Uh, I play golf and track. Hi, my name is Mickey. I'm a senior at Woodgrove High School, and I'm setting to become an EMT. Hello, I'm Ty from Woodgrove High School, where I compete on the academic team, the debate team, and the boys' tennis team. Wonderful, and we're, we're glad you're part of the It's Academic team. <laughs> so thanks for that. Here's your first question, guys. Rehearsal kinfolk. Hidden in this phrase is the last name of what scientist who, along with Albert Sabin, developed an early polio vaccine? Conferring, is it Herschel? I thought it was Salk. I think it's Salk. Okay, go with that. All right. Good Salk move. directed. Absolutely, Jonas Salk. Next question, C, sign. We hope you see that the letters in this phrase can be rearranged to name what first book of the Bible? It's Genesis, guys. Conferring Genesis, right? Yeah. All right. Answer is Genesis. Yes, it is. Trust in Allah, but tie up your... To complete this Arabic proverb, place in the blank space, what desert animal that comes in Bactrian and dromedary? Conferring camel, right? Camels, yeah. All right. Answer is camel. Yeah, camels is correct. Radium, bismuth, Einsteinium. Combine the chemical symbols for these three elements and you'll spell the name of what disease for which Pasteur found a vaccine. I believe it is rabies. Yeah. Rabies Go for is it. final answer. Yes, it's rabies, nice. The only true alternative to war. When President Kennedy said this, he was referring to what international peacekeeping organization headed by a secretary general and located in New York? United Nations. I go for it. United Nations. Yeah, it's the United Nations. Nicely done, Woodgrove. You have 200 points. How about we meet the team from St. Stephen's and St. Agnes in Alexandria, Virginia, a team of women, young women, woohoo. Hi, I'm Adrian. I'm an 18-year-old senior from Alexandria, Virginia, 
And I'd like to thank our school administrators for supporting us. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a 17-year-old senior from St. Stephen's in St. Agnes. And I would like to take a moment to thank our awesome alternate Finn for being here today. I'm Alethea. I'm a 16-year-old sophomore. I'd like to thank our coaches, Mrs. Sandoval and Dr. Klein. Wonderful. Okay, St. Stephen's and St. Agnes, here's the first question. Smash a leaf. Smash through these words and you'll find the hidden name of what type of sedimentary rock that can be a source of oil? Conferring. Shale. Um, final answer is shale. Yes, it is. A nine plus. You'll get an A plus here if you rearrange these letters to get what type of land area surrounded on three sides by water? Conferring peninsula? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, final answer, peninsula. It is peninsula. It would have been more of a miracle if blank had swallowed the whale. You can complete this quotation from Thomas Paine by adding the name of what biblical figure who was swallowed by a big fish? Conferring. Jonas. Yeah. Final answer is Jonas. Yeah, it's Jonah. Gallium, tellurium, sulfur. Combine the chemical symbols for these three elements and you'll spell the name of what philanthropist and founder of Microsoft? Conferring Gates. Yeah. Final answer, Gates. Yes, it is, Bill Gates. Live free or die. This is the official motto of what New England state whose capital is Concord? Conferring New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Final answer, New Hampshire. Yeah, New Hampshire is it. Nicely done, St. Stephen's and St. Agnes. You have 200 points. Woohoo! Time for the picture perfect round, Murray School. In this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down. If you don't answer, there's a 10 point penalty. Here we go. Located in Iraq, this mosque was built over a thousand years ago in Samara, a city about 65 miles from what Iraqi capital city? Conferring uh, Baghdad, right? Yeah. Uh, Baghdad, final answer. Yes, it is Baghdad. Choice. This is Labradorite, a mineral found in what type of rock formed from molten magma? Igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic? Conferring. Uh, igneous. Hey, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, final answer, igneous. Yeah, it's igneous. Nice. Satire is a mirror where beholders discover everybody's face but their own. These are the words of what Anglo-Irish author whose satiric writings include Gulliver's Travels? Conferring. Yeah. Um, no answer. No answer. Uh, the answer is Jonathan Swift. The Murray School has 210 points. Nice, guys. Woodgrove, your turn in the picture perfect round. First question. This tree, known as the Traveler's Palm, is found throughout the Caribbean, but it originated on what huge island off Africa's east coast? Conferring Madagascar, right? Madagascar. Yeah. Answer is Madagascar. Yes, it is. Madagascar. Choice. Is this compound an organic acid, ketone, or aldehyde? Conferring? Um, I don't think it's, it's not an acid, I don't think. Any? I think it's an aldehyde. Okay, go for it. Aldehyde, final answer. No, it's an organic acid. Oh. Sorry. I would hurl words into the darkness and wait for an echo. These words, describing his writing process, are those of what author of Native Son and Black Boy? Um, conferring, is it Steinbeck? I have no idea. Or Hemingway? Go with your gut. Um, Steinbeck, final answer. No, the answer is Richard Wright, but nice job. Woodgrove, you've got 180 points. Time for the picture perfect round, St. Stephen's and St. Agnes. Here we go. Artist Claude Monet depicted the changing effects of light and color on what river that runs through Paris? Conferring. The um, Seine. Um, final answer, the Seine. Yes, you've got it, the Seine. The changing colors of the trees in the fall is due to a decrease in what green pigment of stru or structures found within most plants? Conferring chlorophyll? Yep. yep. Final answer, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll it is. Those people who think they know everything 
are a great annoyance to those of us who do. <laughs> this was the comment of what science fiction author of I, Robot, and the Robots of Dawn. Conferring? Is it as, as, it's like Isaac as Imov? Should we go for it? Okay. Go for it. Final <laughs> answer, Isaac as Imov. Yeah, that's it. Very nicely done. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> St. Stephen's and St. Agnes, you have 260 points. Time to meet the supporters for the Moray School, and there is a crowd. <laughs> so why don't you tell me about them, Makai? Yeah, sure. I'm here with our two alternates, Noah and Ismira, as well as our two coaches, Dr. White and Dr. Forsythe, and our head of school, Ms. Talbot. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for being here, all of you guys. Now, of course, we get to see what you do in the packet round. In this packet round, questions are worth 20 points. Don't worry about wrong answers. Nothing off for a wrong answer. And if you get all of them correct, there's a 25-point bonus. Gentlemen, first question. Four of our presidents haven't had a single argument since they were carved on what South Dakota mountain? Conferring. Mount oh, Rushmore. Uh, Mount Rushmore, final answer. Yeah, Mount Rushmore. You'd have to travel over two billion miles if for any reason you wanted to visit what distant planet named for the Roman god of the sea? Conferring. Nep Neptune. Okay, yeah, Neptune, final answer. Neptune it is. Here's your science question. Higher pitched, louder, softer. If the handle of a vibrating tuning fork is pressed against a wooden table, the sound of the vibrations will be which of these? Uh, conferring, I'm assuming softer. Um, I think louder. Louder. Okay. Okay. Are we good with that? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, louder, final answer. Glad you went with it. It's louder. George Washington resigned as head of the Continental Army shortly after signing what treaty ending the Revolutionary War? Uh, conferring? Yes, I, I don't know what it's called. Answer? Uh, in three, two, one. Declaration of Independence. You'll know it when I say it. The Treaty of Paris. In the mystery of the Sussex vampire, Sherlock Holmes declares the case to be similar to a fairy tale told by what 19th century pair of German brothers? Um, conferring. Grimm, the Brothers Grimm. Yeah, the Brothers Grimm. Brothers Grimm, yeah. Final answer, the Brothers Grimm. The Brothers Grimm it is. Here's your math question. Solve for X stating your answer as a positive integer. Uh, Conferring x equals five. Five, I think. Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, five, final answer. Five is right. The first time a US president played host to a foreign queen was in 1866, when what 17th chief executive welcomed Queen Emma of Hawaii? Um, Conferring. Johnson? Um, it might be Lincoln, but Johnson. It's, I think it's one of the two. Lincoln was 11, so I think Johnson. OK, yep. final answer, Johnson. Yeah, glad you got there. It's Johnson, the Murray School, 330 points. Nice, guys. Let's meet the team behind Woodgrove High School's its academic team. Nick, who's with you? So today we have Gwyneth, who is, be, who is an alternate today, and our coaches, Coach Kane, who's a librarian, and Coach Barrett, who's a physics teacher. Beautiful. Thank you so much for being here, Team Woodgrove. Now, time for the packet round, and uh, here we go. Most hairstylists would refuse to work on Medusa, whose head was covered with what writhing creatures? Referring snakes, everybody agree? Right. Answer is snakes. Yes, snakes. Ah. During World War II, over 30,000 of Allied shipping were sunk by a German cruiser named for what kind of small celestial body such as Halley's? Oh, conferring comet, right? Yeah, comet. Right. Answer is comet. Yes, it is. Here's your science question. Diameter, photoelectric cell, electrolysis apparatus. Which of these instruments can convert light into an electric current? Conferring, I believe it's number two, photoelectric cell. OK. OK, uh, photoelectric cell, final answer. It is, photoelectric cell. Even sunscreen wouldn't have helped. What mythical son of Daedalus who flew so close to the sun that his wax wings melted? Conferring Icarus, correct? Right? Okay, Icarus, final answer. It is Icarus, nice. And what Alice found there is the subtitle of what Alice in Wonderland sequel published in 1871. Is it The Looking Glass? 
Go for it. I'm sorry? Through the looking glass, final answer. Yes, it is. Through the looking glass. Good. Here's your math question. What is the value of X in the proportion? Conferring, I believe it's six, guys. Yes. Okay. Six, final answer. You believe correctly. It's six. The country's first national monument, Devil's Tower in Wyoming, was proclaimed in 1906 by what 26th president? Conferring. Is that Teddy Roosevelt? Teddy Roosevelt. Okay. Teddy Roosevelt, final answer. Yeah, it's Teddy Roosevelt. Well done, Woodgrove. You got every single question right. That means a 25-point bonus. Woo! And 345 points. Time to meet the coaches and alternate for St. Stephen's and St. Agnes. Who's with you, Adrian? Um, we have our two coaches, Dr. Klein, who's an upper school English teacher, and Miss Sandoval, who is an art history teacher, and our ultimate Finn. Thanks so much for all of you supporting your team at St. Stephen's and St. Agnes. And now they get to answer questions from the packet round. Here's your first question. Two major rivers form part of the U.S.-Canada border, the St. Lawrence, and what other river that shares its name with a huge U.S.-Canadian waterfall? Conferring. Niagara? Niagara, yeah. Final answer, Niagara. It is Niagara. Peter Salem and Salem Poor both became heroes in the same Revolutionary War battle fought on what hill near Boston in June of 1775? Conferring Bunker Hill? Yeah. Final answer, Bunker Hill? Yeah, Bunker Hill. Here's your science question. Increase, decrease, remain the same. As the velocity of a freely falling body increases, its potential energy does which of these? Conferring decreases? Yeah. Yeah. Final answer, decreases? Decrease is right. One of Sir Arthur Sullivan's last compositions was The Absent-Minded Beggar, a song about what war the British fought against the Afrikaners in South Africa in 1899. Conferring? Answer. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. In three, two, one, it is the Boer War. Astronaut Neil Armstrong named his farm Rivendell, a site described in Lord of the Rings by what author? Conferring. Tolkien. Um, yeah. Final answer, Tolkien. Yes, it's Tolkien. Here's your math question. What is the value of this expression? Conferring zero. Yeah. Final answer, zero. Yeah, it's zero. The White House got its very first radio in 1922 during the administration of what 29th president who died the next year? Conferring. Harding. Harding. Final answer, Harding. Yeah, it's Harding. Nice job, St. Stephen's and St. Agnes. You have 380 points. Time for the grab bag for the Murray School. In this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down, guys. 30 points for the visual questions. 10 points if you don't say a thing. Here's the first question. If you wanted a royal education, you could go to what southern state where there is a King's College, a Queen's College, and Duke University? Uh, conferring. North, North Carolina. Carolina. Uh, North Carolina, final answer. Yep, it's North Carolina. If you cut a circular pie into eight equal pieces, what is the measure in degrees of the angle at the point of each piece? Conferring? Uh, it's 360 by the 8, right? Yeah. Answer? Uh, 45, I think. Yeah. 45, final answer. Yeah, you're there. Franklin Roosevelt appointed hard-working Frances Perkins as the first woman cabinet member to head what department whose name suggests hard work? Conferring? Department of Labor, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Department of Labor, final answer. Yes, it is. Department of Labor. On your screens for 30 points. When Delacroix created this painting, The Lion Hunt, he drew on his memories of what North African country where Rabat is capital? Oh, uh, conferring Morocco, right? Rabat. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, Morocco, final answer. Yeah, it's Morocco. Well done, Murray. Ishan, Riley, Akai, you've got 420 points. Woodgrove, you're up in the grab bag round. First question. Couples can receive an anniversary card from the White House if they've been married. How many years celebrated by a golden anniversary? 50 years. Final answer. It is, yeah, 50 years, good. 
If a baseball team wins 14 games and loses six, it won what percentage of its games? Conferring 70? Final answer 70%? Good, 70 is right. In 1857, the Supreme Court's Dred Scott decision had the effect of nullifying what 1820 compromise named for a state? Missouri Compromise. Missouri Compromise, final answer? Yes, it is, the Missouri Compromise. On your screens for 30 points. This old photo shows workers along Russia's Volga River that empties into what sea considered the world's largest lake? Conferring, is that the Caspian? I believe so, yes. Okay, Caspian, final answer? Yeah, nicely done, Caspian Sea. Woodgrove, you have 435 points, good job. St. Stephen's and St. Agnes, you're up in the grab bag round. Here we go. The ancient city of Meroe was one of the largest African centers of the manufacture of weapons made from what metal whose symbol is F as in Frank, E as in Edward? Conferring iron? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Final answer, iron. It is iron, nice. In the first movie about King Kong, the huge ape was said to be how many feet tall, a height equaling 600 inches? Conferring 60? 60? Yeah. 600 divided by 12. I'm sorry? I need an answer, guys. In five, four, three, um, two, 60. No, it's 50 feet. All kinds of strange creatures are found in ancient myths, including Chiron, who was what sort of creature, half man, half horse? Conferring centaur. centaur. I don't answer centaur. Centaur it is. On your screens for 30 points. This is the Hindu Kush, a rugged Afghan mountain range that extends into what neighboring country whose capital is Islamabad? Conferring Turkey? Right. Do you wanna do you wanna pass or do you wanna? I think we should go with it. Okay, um final answer Turkey. No, it's Pakistan, but really nice job. St. Stephen's and St. Agnes, you have 370 points. Okay, the scores are official. We begin with St. Stephen's and St. Agnes from Alexandria, Virginia. Adrian, Emma, and Alethea, 370 points. From Washington, D.C., the Murray School, Akai, Ishan, and Riley, 420 points. And coming back for the playoffs from Purcellville, Virginia, Woodgrove High School, well done, Nick, Ty, and Mickey, 435 points. Hey, make sure you join us next week when we have Jefferson, Washington, Liberty, and Sidwell friends. So happy you spent part of your Saturday morning with us. I'm Hillary Howard. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.